Hi everyone, it's Donna from Space Man Paper Crafts and we're back with part six of our Alice in Wonderland mini album. Now this page um, is going to be page five and I have done it slightly different in that I've already made the page. Um, what I decided to do this time was because I really love card making as well, um, I decided to incorporate some fun fold cards onto a page. Um, so I'll show you what I did. So this is the front side of the page and this is like a double pull um, sort of panel. Let me turn it on the side so you can see. Which is really quite fun. I mean you only really need to pull one, you don't need to pull both. And then I've just created a little pocket to sit on the front and then I've just clipped some little journaling cards together and just slide those in there. So that is, um, I don't know what you call this, It's is it a, oh, I don't know, pull slide card or something like that, I don't know. And then on this side I've um, done a twist and pop card. So it sort of opens up like so. And um, this outer image was a free downloadable printable and um, it has initials in the middle. Well, what I did, I put it on my, um, I've got some editing software and I removed the initial and then I just added, typed this quote in myself and printed it off. And I think it looks really cute. Um, yeah, so then that opens up and pops out like so so what I've done is um, I'm going to actually show you how to make the cards um, I mean obviously I've already stuck mine on the basis is the same you stick your five and three quarter by five and three quarter piece down and then you would just add these cards um, on top of that okay so Let's get started. So we'll start with the um, we'll start with the twist and pop card. Okay. If you know how to make one of these already, you really don't need to follow this tutorial. Um, you can just skip on to the next one if you um, choose to. So the first thing we're going to get is our pieces. Now I'm not going to decorate these obviously because they're not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to create them for you to show you how everything sort of goes together so you need your card base and this card base is 11 by five and a half and then scored in the middle at five and a half so that gives you your card base um you're going to need a piece that is um 11 inches by three and three quarter inches which is for the flip panel and then a piece for the mechanism that is eight by three and a half okay um there are various different tutorials of this card um this version is the easiest i've seen and it's from sam at mixed up crafts um i've just adjusted the card size and things to fit my page but yeah this is this has been the easiest version of this card that i've ever seen so um yeah so that's from sam at mixed up crafts so let's start by doing our card base so whoops let's bring in this beast of a scoreboard um and i'm just going to my scoring stylus just going to score this at five and a half and that's our card base okay so you put that to one side then you need to bring in your piece that's going to be your flip in the middle and you need to score this at um, I'll do it this way so you don't see all the writing and it confuses you so score at two and three quarters at five and a half whoops, just jump, and at eight and a quarter Okay, so fold it in half and then fold these two panels back on themselves and that's your 
twist and pull bit. Um, the mats that you're going to need for this size are three and a half by two and a half. Um, so that's that. Then for the mechanism piece, which we said was eight by um, three and I'll just put my stylus down there. Eight by three and a half. So with this piece, you're going to a make a little notch at two and a quarter. Okay, and then you're going to score at four. And then you're going to make another little notch at five and three quarters. Flip it over. And then you're going to notch in the same place again. So that's two and a quarter and five and three quarters. And then you're going to rotate it. So the three and a half inch side is at the top and you're going to score it in half at one and three quarters okay right now you have a choice here you can either use your ruler and score from this point to this point on a diagonal making sure you go through the center and again this point to this point but i'm going to use my scoreboard i've got a line i've drawn a line down the middle with sharpie so it's easy for me to sort of line these up um, point to point and we need to make sure that it goes through that centre score there okay so I'm going to do the same here line this notch here with the notch that we made down here so we just join those up and making sure we go through the centre okay so you have your long score line here and you have like a cross in the middle so that's all the scoring done so let's put that out of the way for now okay so for the mechanism piece we're just going to fold and burnish all the score lines So when you have your mechanism, these two long bits need to go in and you push those in and then you have your triangle piece at the top. And so you need to do it so you've got two separate uh, pieces that are separate at the bottom. So I'll show you again. As you finish scoring, these two long pieces need to go in and you fold and burnish for your mechanism okay now if you take a ruler and a pencil or pen doesn't matter because you're not going to see this and I thought this was a brilliant idea that Sam had if you measure in at one and a quarter on the first panel so if you're looking at it it's the right hand side okay so you measure in at one and a quarter and just draw a line and then flip it over and do the same at one and a quarter and that's where you need to put your adhesive up to okay so i'm just going to use some uh, double-sided tape okay so then you need to bring in your folded panel okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and turn it so it's facing up this way okay then you're going to take your mechanism piece then this bit will lift up slightly and then this bit is going to stick down what you need to do is make sure that you've got pretty equal amounts hanging over either side okay so we'll do that we'll take off our backing And then slip that piece underneath and just it's hard for me to see with the camera but oh, that's not very straight I'll try there 
so that's the first bit stuck down so you do flip over okay and then you undo these pieces and then because you've already lined it up on the other side and it's already stuck down this shouldn't be too difficult just to lay down like that and then you've got your your mechanism ready okay so now we need to put it in our card so all we need to do is get again some tape okay then we're going to bring in our card base now you can measure if you want to measure to get halfway but i'm just sort of eyeballing really and then you peel off one side of your backer and you just line that up with the score line you don't want to go over the score line so it's just before the score line and then peel this side off and then you just close the card over like so and then when it's finished it will flip and pop like so so then I just decorated it up and then I popped it on um, on my page so I'll show you the page again okay so that's the first side so that's the twist and um, twist and pop card Sorry, I thought I'd lost my page for a second then so then we're going to work on doing this one now so I'm going to get all the pieces which are already prepped and here so you will need one piece that is nine and a half by four and a quarter then you're going to need a piece that is um, four and three quarters by four and a quarter then you're going to need two pieces that are four and three quarter by four okay and these are the, the bits that will end up being pulled out so the mats that you'll need for decorative paper is four and a half by three and three quarters for that okay so you're also going to need some plastic now this is like um just a cheap old you know uh like page protectors you get in a pack um you know really sort of flimsy you could probably do it with actually you could do it with a carrier bag as well um but this i had in my craft room anyway so i thought i'd put that to use so first thing we're going to do is do some scoring so i'm going to bring in my scoreboard again and on the four and three quarter by four and a quarter piece we're just going to score at um half an inch we're going to do that on the four and three quarter side okay and then on the nine and a half by four and a quarter we're going to score at half at four and three quarters and at nine okay that's all the scoring done okay so then you just want to fold the ends And then what we're going to do is we're going to stick this piece onto one of the ends here okay so i'm just going to get some double-sided tape and i'm just going to pop this on there so the scored end stays at the top so you put this together and you have 
two score at ends at the top okay so I'm just going to stick this down and again we don't want to go over that score line because it just it won't fold so there we go so that now gives us three sections in our panel okay so now what we need to do is get our plastic piece ready so i'm going to pop that to one side for a minute now this plastic um as i say this plastic sheet um, or um, page protector i am um, already had in my stash anyway so we're just going to cut it at about three inches you could probably go there's probably scope for about three and a half really but we're just going to cut three a three inch piece off okay then i'll take that bit away and then i'm just going to cut the binding piece off obviously we're not going to need all of this but um, we can cut away the excess anyway. Okay, so now we need to build the mechanism part that's going to make this card slide. So we're bringing back in our panel and on the centerpiece, this is where we're going to need to put our um, plastic. Okay, so what we want to do is if you've got a fold try and if you can avoid the fold avoid it if not um you just need to um work out the fold a little bit it should be fine but just try not to attach it so the fold is right at the end because then that way it'll get, it'll get stuck and won't roll very well so now you want to pull it but you don't want to pull it too tight so it makes a crease so I think that's good and I'm going to get some double sided tape oops ripped in two and then I'm just going to stick the tape on the end here and peel this off this can be quite fiddly actually you will get a chance to adjust it again before you stick I don't want my door sided tape it keeps tearing there we go okay so if we just fold this piece over and stick that down and then we can just simply cut off the excess and then this bit will slide around to make your um, panels move so now what we need to do is attach our panels so we got our two pieces, our four and three quarter, uh, four and three quarter by four pieces. Now, it, when you're putting your mats on, which are four and a half by five, uh, three and three quarters, you need to put your mats on before you stick them down. Okay. So what I'm going to do just to show you, this would be the side with paper, and so with this, because there is a way that you have to put these in. So um, you have the paper showing as you pull so with this being the paper side we, we need one to be stuck down to the plastic here okay so I'm just going to get some more double sided tape and I'm just going to stick that there 
okay and then I'm just going to pull this back off and then what I did is I rounded my corners so you if you wanted to do that you could round the corners but also remember to round the corners on your paper as well before you stick it down so we're just going to line this up so it's going to go in between the score lines and stuck down there so this is going to be one side okay just needs it's just caught a little bit on the where it's taped so bring that bit where the tape is caught there so I'll just maneuver that around it'll be absolutely fine you know don't worry by the time you put it all together when you pull it back it'll be fine so that's the paper side up now you need to flip this over and we need to have the paper side faced down on this one okay so when you pull them out both the paper sides are in the right place They're on the right side so again I'm just going to stick some double sided tape down and then I'm just going to peel the backer off okay so remember paper side down and again just so it centers in so as you flip it round both pieces will pull okay so now we need to seal this up okay so your top piece up here is going to fold this way and your bottom piece is going to fold this way okay and then on the inside we don't want to stick it to the, the panels we want to stick it to the inside of the base itself okay so it would fold over your panel and stick to the inside of your base so I'm going to just pop some double sided tape on there and then just peel that off okay so as you fold it up this is what it looks like this is obviously your panel that's going to pull out we don't want to stick it to that so we want to tuck our flap behind that panel and stick it to the card base okay I'm going to flip around and this panel this flap needs to be folded inwards okay and again it's going to sit over the card pull and tape there okay so I'm just going to put again some double sided tape I hope um, these tutorials are okay for you guys um, if you've got any problems or need me to run over anything again please just contact me and let me know so again we don't stick it on the flap that's pulled we took the flap the fold over sorry guys my camera cut off there I hope you got that last bit um, where I was sort of showing the mechanism itself and then I was going to tell you that there's um, a video that I watched with this lady made two of these mechanisms and put them one on top of the other so she had a pull that side and a pull that side now I think the reason you can see my plastic here is because I didn't pull it tight enough when I was sticking it down and if I had I mean you, you can barely see it to be fair but if I had stuck it down like I did the first one a bit better then you wouldn't see that so I'll bring that in again and there we go 
so I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys um, I really enjoyed incorporating the card folds into this I may do that for page 6 as well um, I haven't decided yet on page 6 I was debating I don't know whether to do a um, flip waterfall with like a belly band um, and a magnet or do something else so if you've got any ideas for the last page I'd love to hear what you think um, because I haven't made any decisions yet um, as to what I'm going to do so if you wanted to see anything in particular and um, I can do that for you or give it a go certainly um, yeah so I really really hope that you like this and you enjoyed this tutorial guys and I'm sorry about my camera cutting out I don't know what happened there um, but I'll check the footage and hopefully um, you've got everything that you need also I wanted to show you how I fixed um, the last page that we did um, I did say that I had, I had fixed it so this was the waterfall section that we did and then on this side I only had the one harp I added two and it's really strengthened it so I added an extra magnet I managed to lift the paper um, slightly there to get another magnet in and then on the back here what I did was I cut around the heart and then I cut it out of craft cardstock and then just covered up the magnets on that side so that's how I fixed that and just put an extra magnet in okay so thank you so much again guys for watching um, I really appreciate all the comments and all the feedback that I'm getting from this um, set of tutorials this series um yeah i'm loving it actually so uh yeah if this is your first time with me please click that subscribe button and um the little bell next to it will notify you when um i am uploading any new videos if you click that as well i do have a facebook page called little spaceman show and tell i'll leave the link for it in the description bar below so you can pop on there and um doesn't matter what you're making um i'd love to see it it's a really at the moment it is quite a small little crafting community but hopefully we're going to get it built up and it'll be a really good place to share knowledge and tips and tricks and things um, and that's what i'm hoping it'll it'll be so yes and don't also don't forget the giveaway so the giveaway is um still running for the printables um from this album um as if you go back um, on my list I'll actually link the video for you that shows you all where I got all my ephemera from and the competition and what you can win so thank you so much again guys and um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video I've really enjoyed incorporating these fun um, interactive cards into my album so thank you so much guys for watching and do take care and I'll be back very soon with another video bye for now